Hello again, everyone. This is Mergle, your friendly farming warlock. I thought I would do a little quick video on how you can get the most gold profit out of your garrison. Garrison requires very little effort. It's only by comparison, basically, Farmville for a while. It can be used to make a decent amount of gold through missions and or your buildings. As you'll notice, the medium buildings are actually quite better than these piece of crap larges. Our large buildings don't really give us any methods of getting profit faster. The stables is good if you're an herbalist or a miner, because you will not be dismounted when using your uh, farming abilities. The dwarven bunker, it's okay if you raid. It saves you uh, spending gold or points of any sort to get your seal, however. Other than that, very lackluster in its use. Mage Tower lets you portal around. The buff is okay when you're outside farming because it does give you a crit. 100% crit when attacking. It's kind of useful. Gnomish Gear works, it's more for the uh, fun of it. A lot of the little tinkers are really interesting to use. No real benefits though. You can semi get a flying mount for Draenor with the gear works. It lets you fly into the air and move around very fast. However, your big money makers are your medium buildings. Right now on my server, Savage Blood averages about 450 to 500 gold. The patch 6.1 is coming out tomorrow. You are going to get more Savage Blood from the barn, and Alchemists are now going to be able to create it with their daily cooldowns. This is probably going to lower the value of Salvage Blood, however it's going to be necessary for a lot of new crafting too, so maybe it'll see a slight uprise, but it'll probably steady out back at around 200 to 300 each. Still a decent money maker because you can farm traps very fast in Nagrin to get Savage Blood. And the fact that you're able to go ahead and start tons of work orders without having to actually pay attention to them, you can make money while you make money. Not a bad building at all. Our Lunarfall Inn over here. Getting to level 3 requires you to do quite a lot of heroics over several days to unlock the pattern. However, the uh, lucrative missions that it states here when you reach level 3 are getting a buff with patch 6.1 tomorrow. This means that they'll actually hopefully be lucrative. The idea of lucrative before was 37 gold, 64 gold. Not really a lot to imagine. I'm assuming tomorrow they'll probably be 200, 300, 400 gold missions, which when you think about it, you don't really have to pay attention to your garrison. That's a lot of AFK money for doing absolutely nothing. I do have the Lunar Fall in uh, and the barn on all of my characters. I will show you that here in a moment. Having the uh, followers is going to be a necessity starting with 6.1 tomorrow. The reason being, if you don't have the follower in there, it will account for it every four hours. That means you can't just put your follower in there at the last minute to go take your stuff. So make sure you have your followers set to their pr proper locations. Uh, they will get XP while they do work orders, so they will level to epic without you actually having to send them on missions. That's a nice bonus. Right now, the only reason this building, the Tailoring Emporium, 
is on this tune is because he is in fact a tailor, so it will help me out. For him, I can make hex weave bags, which sell very well, very easily. Those are 3.5k a pop, not very difficult to make. The Enchanter Studi is good for everyone. This is your primary money maker on every ca uh, character. You should have this. Ensure that you have the follower inside of it. Uh, you can calculate it out. On this server, we can get Drainic Dust for three gold each. Takes 20 Drainic Dust in the equivalent of making one Temporal Crystal. You will get one Temporal Crystal plus two tiny fragments every day with the amount of work orders you'll be doing. You break that down, you're spending uh, 20 dust for one crystal. So that's 60 gold. You can sell crystals on average right now on this server for 280. That's a decent profit. No effort at all. The salvage yard is another great one to have. It's only a requirement is that you salvage a hundred things before you can unlock the third one. Very easy to do. You'll get salvages all the time. As you can see in my bags, he has 45 crates on this character alone that I've just been too lazy to open. Inside these crates, you can have epics that sell very easily. 6k. Sometimes the uh, trinkets can sell in the upwards of 20 to 30k. I've gotten lots of epics out of these boxes. You get the boxes all the time from doing missions very, 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 very quickly. I would recommend the add-ons. Uh, I think it's Garrison Mission? Here, let me look at my add-ons. Garrison Mission Manager and there's Master Plan. These two will make it very, very simple to do your missions quickly. As you can see there, it lists it. It says you'll have a 100% chance if you use this guy. You just click it, hit start, mission's done. That'll speed up your mission process. You don't have any effort to do. Very, very good money. So uh, for every character, you're getting one crystal a day. Uh, across all my accounts, we have leveled every character to 100, and of course, every single character has this. That means I'm get getting 33 crystals daily. On two of the accounts, every character has the barn with the new uh, patch coming out. I'll most likely be getting 30 to 40 Savage Blood daily those will be selling I'm guessing around 300 so you're looking at the Enchanter Studi and the uh, barn that's 20 to 25 K gold every day the barns very effortless it's really not that hard to farm the traps with the update that uh, everyone in the group gets one you get five people going you can trap a couple hundred an hour you can stock them up and you don't have to worry about it and with the Lunar Fall in update, you're going to get much more gold from your missions. I get probably 1 to 2k daily just sending my garrison mission followers. No effort at all. The garrison kind of did plummet the uh, profit on a lot of transmog because of the fact that the green market is flooded. All those difficult to obtain greens can be found inside of salvage crates very easily. The only ones that I've not heard of being found in salvage crate are glorious slate plagues. And that's about it. I think maybe Blizzard did that on purpose, but maybe somebody has gotten one and they can mention it. I don't know. Other than that, your garrison is a great money maker. I'll show you again. Like I said, he has the Taylor Emporium because he is a tailor and I can make bags on him. 
However, as my warrior has my standard set up, I'll show him. The uh, most common one I would use in place of the Taylor Emporium. On all my characters, I use the storehouse. The reason being is when you use the storehouse at level 3, it unlocks uh, 15 extra work orders for every building. So it's not like it really does anything. It just makes it so you don't have to click it as much or pay attention as much for a longer period of time. If you feel like ignoring it, then that's what you can do. You'll have 36 work orders available on each building with the storehouse, which is the one I would recommend because a lot of times I will forget to do my work orders for several days in a row. So with the extended uh, amounts, I don't have to worry about it. My warlock is the only one that does not have the storehouse building. Plus, the storehouse building has great access to your bank, transmogrify, and it also has a guild banker. You can go right to your tabs of endless bullcrap. And then, that's it. You can make lots of money off just your garrison with no effort at all. Hope this guy's help. I'll talk eventually. I hope this helped you guys. Have a good night.